Welcome back to 4 Geeks by Geeks, the place where geeks come to geek out. And this is episode 23, 24, 23? 25, 26, I can count too, 27. Whoa! <laughs> we're, we're not stopping till the, till, the, till the cows come home, baby. It's an all boys episode, baby. All boys are back in town, baby. You'll, you'll know what episode it is because it'll be written somewhere <laughs> around here. <laughs> Or and I don't long. even know where I, I don't even know where I am in the episode either. But that's how confident I am. It's going to be somewhere around this direction. <laughs> I love the confidence. Thank, Thank you. you. Wherever gonna... you're tuning in, thanks for <laughs> tuning in to this episode. As always, I am Bozer. I'm Josh. I'm Austin. I'm T. And this is an all boy except Lucas episode. <laughs> Sorry, Lucas. The poor, armies claim Lucas. One and and Brent is I don't know doing family shit. Not happily, by the way. <laughs> shit. Wow, it's really laws. So we all know how that goes. <laughs> oh, I love my in laws. Oh, oh, she... Her in laws listen. Was she saying you go with her family? Uh, <laughs> I thought oh. we were her family. Damn. Did your dog just go? My cat just karate chopped her bowl off of her cat tree. <laughs> nice. Good training. She's you acting like it's not a big deal tree. either. That is a bold move. My cat would fuck that shit up. We yeah. gotta put it, we gotta put it there across our house. <laughs> the thing is, we gotta put it there so the dog don't get at it. Ah. Now, uh, yeah. Yeah. I apologize in advance. I have the sniffles. And so I will probably be blowing my nose and coughing as not into the mic as possible throughout this episode <laughs> but if you have joined us this far thank you so much this has been so much fun i love the story and we're gonna get into some shenanigans we're just gonna jump right into it because when shenanigans us never because when it's just the boys at all we focus and we just get it done <laughs> Exactly. You know, mad, you know how mad Brit would be if we had a straightforward, no nonsense episode. <laughs> Is that the bit we don't make that's, jokes and we just do a straight episode? Well, we should do, we should just DM uh, Brit after this, being like, "We won." Period. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. We, 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 we beat, we beat it. Yeah. We beat it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, did you, you know how no one knew how it was going to end? <laughs> We figured it out. <laughs> we figured it out. It's over now. Well, I think we established last episode that Brit really is the nonsense problem. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so. So let's jump into today's episode of Cloudscape. Last time on Cloudscape, um, there was a lot of, uh, I don't know what you call it, bonds being created and bonds being broken at Wayland's safe house. Um, Which bond was broken? Well, you know, between Kit and her dad, it's oh, still gotcha. broken. Um, it's like, it's it's fractured. Okay, fractured. I mean, it's a, it's a deep fracture. I don't know how many of my family members are like, oh yeah, I just like exploited you with drugs. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And then I was just like, and I was like, oh, see you on Thanksgiving. I can't answer that question, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, last episode. On the last episode of Dr. Phil. <laughs> Kirkin uh, had a moment with oh Kit God. and basically ceremoniously made her an honorary Sirocco by bequeathing his brother Jiun's knives, the magnet knives, to Kit. And telling her, don't fuck up or I'll stab you in the chest with these. <laughs> like I did the last guy. Uh, Theo had a phone call with his father in hiding, which is the first time that we heard about that. Um, just checked in, said, I love you, had a tear, um, and promised Sirkin that he wouldn't be going to the funeral as he went off to pay his respects to one of the fallen, Quinn, one of his... Uh, Helper, as I suppose, at employees. the hospital. Employees. You too. <laughs> Contract employees. 
Ten ninety nine. Did you have a ten ninety nine? Ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine. You know, you know wow. what I learned? I'm gonna try to keep this as brief as possible. Henchman. You know that's not like a, like a de- a degrading term. Really? Hench in like like uh like uh, the UK or whatever. Hench means like strong. Uh, he's hench. Like saying like that. Oh, the guy looks jacked. So oh. like your henchman is your strong man, your tough man. Huh. Right? The muscle. It's not. Well, what, I've always like thought of it as like a degrading term. Like oh, they're just a henchman. But like, yeah. but like they're supposed to be like yeah, these are my henchmen. These sure. are my these are my guys that get stuff done. You're wagatory than henchmen. Goon. Yeah, 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 goon. Goon. yeah, yeah. Goon. You don't want to be a goon. Be a henchman. Yeah. Don't be a goon. Rex. Get That's that on the bumper sticker. Um, um, it would be henchman. That is one hundred percent merch. <laughs> <laughs> we can make that. We can make that happen. Yeah. And so Theo headed to the hospital, um, checked in, and found Quinn's son waiting in the waiting room, and that conversation did not go as well as Theo hoped. Basically, the kid said, I hate you, get out of my life, you ruined it, you ruined everything. Um, And so while you were there, you also checked in on the last remaining gold employee that played dead until everyone left and then was taken to the hospital uh, under Citadel watch. He faked being a doctor to get information. Allegedly. Um. You got. Oh. Are you saying that you actually have a PhD? And <laughs> you think Theo doesn't know a guy? Come on. They could fake the document. Yeah. Yeah. Paperwork can be acquired. True. Um, you freaked him out. You tried to smother him. <laughs> then the cop came in, booted you out, and you were then headed towards the Citadel to meet Commander Oren, who you had spoken with earlier in the day on the phone. He basically thanked you for the work that you did in the way that you did it. And you said that you'd be stopping by at six later to see him. Back at the warehouse, you guys treated your wounds. Um, Kitten Nan had a nice warm moment. Um, And then basically y'all got strapped with some weapons hidden away in Waylands. Of course, Nan took the six shooter, rolled it up her arm like a badass bitch she is. And y'all got in a car... Or actually, you walked, found a spot where you could access the tunnels because you were headed back towards the Knights of Axiom to request their help and assistance in dealing with the news that Nan shared while she was in captivity. That it was revealed that basically Ren Jebson was her captor while she was at some research facility with a research assistant. But when Ren didn't come back after getting murdered um the research assistant who has strong feelings for mr jebson went crazy and said something about releasing the rest of the subjects um to which you would assume have some relation to that psionic crazy uh telekinesis bad girl that you recently saw earlier in the campaign three days ago you know um on the side i wonder if it's something we should like message um brit about but i wonder if if uh anyway i got an idea but we can talk about it when it comes into fruition but i just had this like maybe brain blast maybe like well actually it's within the rules so technically it could happen kind of thing so i don't i don't want to (laughs) ruin i don't want to create this like big uh fault you know what i'm hyping it up too much let's proceed (laughs) (laughs) terrific self edit (laughs) let's proceed I've I've said enough so we find you all um, on one of the carts in the lower levels beneath the city driving towards the Knights of Axiom Um, it's all of you except Theo including Nan including Tobias Alsvid, Britt Sirkin and Wayland so yeah, you're headed around. You you kind of turn the corner, and Sirkin, you see a recognizable warm glow um, around the next turn. Good. What would you like to do? Uh, uh, which I'm going to pull forward until I see other carts parked. I go act like I belong. Okay, so you take it into that area yeah. um, that Kit and 
Tobias left that they couldn't get out of because of <laughs> drive. So yeah, you do it in the golf cart park. And I don't know why it. I keep picturing it when you say cart. I keep picturing us in mine carts. I'm doing the same thing. I can't, <laughs> st I can't stop picturing it. I don't know. We're in a tunnel. We're in a cart in a tunnel. What if, what, 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 do, what do you put in carts and tunnels? It's the, there's train tracks. But every I, time. I, I immediately tunnels. evoke uh, the uh, scene in Austin Powers when he gets that cart stuck in the nice. little tiny hallway. I love that. That's what I imagine. That's where it went first. I love that. I am at fan art, though. You can canonize it that it is, in fact, mine art. That's the rule. I control. I control the story as long as as long as nobody calls me on it. Um. Yeah. I would like. I would like uh, Wayland to not get out of the cart for no reason while he's trying to park it and failing and just like trying to like back seat. Help. No. Oh. Uh, no. Like uh, three more degrees to the right. Uh, It'll no. be fine. No, no, you it's you don't lined understand. up appropriately. Three more degrees to the right, and then and then pull as forward as you can before you bump into the wall, and then there. you want to go. Now I've bumped into the wall, and now okay. there's the scuff. I don't think I don't think you're when I say before you bump into the wall. That's kind of the most important part of that. Like, you so just three, three degrees. degrees put us closer to the wall. Let's get out. Circum <sighs> <laughs> gets out of the car, and Tobias Wait, gets. Wayland gets out last. Just, Wayland gets out last. He just he just thinks to himself like, they're gonna know that that they didn't park this. This is the, <laughs> this is the the most obvious. I can. It might as well be a freaking Ford Fiesta down here. Like they're gonna. It's as obvious as that. There's just so not much dad energy. So <laughs> and I mean, I could get in and I could I could fix the park in a moment, but then they're gonna have to sit there and watch me, and I don't want to. You know, I'm not gonna be on display. So and Tobias, I kind of turns cage where everyone else walked, I'm like, I'm cutting you off. <laughs> <laughs> Tobias turns to you all, and um, so I, I feel like your your original welcome, Kit and Sirkin wasn't quite super warm, so I'm hoping that I can kind of ease this so that weapons aren't drawn and no one's thrown into any sort of prison. Much appreciated. Um, how long has it been since y'all left? Like, basically a day, right? I think two days max. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you slept. Yeah. Okay. So it's just been a couple of days. Um, he leads you out towards kind of the main hub of the Knights of Axiom. And as you're walking, you see... Like, some people are passing you by, and they're, like, kind of giving you eyes. Because um, they recognize most of you, but now you've got Wayland and Alvin, Alsvid in tow, and Nan. Um, and eventually, you're kind of flanked by two other individuals. Um, what? Lionel, uh, who are these individuals? And he's looking at all of you, and you know, they're, they're with me. Um, all due respect, uh, we need you all to come with us. And you're flanked on one side by one person each, and then somebody kind of comes up on the end, and they start leading you towards um, the, the center of the hub. Follow. Uh, nice I'm, and peacefully. Uh, I'm sorry, my colleague uh, parked the cart. So <laughs> irresponsibly. They, they, they do not respond and they just keep walking. <laughs> Waylon keeps muttering to himself. So embarrassing. Shut their gun in now. <laughs> um, and you're brought to the middle and now there's kind of a crowd forming around. That. And um, Vox breaks through. Piece of shit. <laughs> Um, hey, hey, guys. So, um, maybe I didn't make it super clear that we can't just be bringing a bunch of randos here. It's kind of supposed to be like a secret. So, Sirkin, what the hell? I thought there was a plus one policy. <laughs> and, well, you just, and, happened. and he just grins back at Vox to, like, show I'm kidding. He's like, he really likes Vox now. 
<laughs> Vox is a redeemable character, too. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> not when he puts his tongue in my goddaughter's <laughs> mouth. Yeah, what he said. There's been no evidence that that's ever happened. Yeah, she's too good for him. <laughs> There's been no evidence it hasn't happened. Uh, but like, you saw what happened her. when I did it last time, so we, I kind of thought that was the, the sign that we shouldn't do that again. Oh, you should know that that means I wouldn't have done it if it were not extremely important. The fate of the city is at stake. And you hear a voice beyond the crowd. <laughs> the fate of the city, you say. And this tall woman breaks through, and it's Naraya Kai. It seems you've been busy, Mr. Soroko. Always. I think I'd like to skip the part where we draw weapons upon each other, because you have broken the promise to keep this place sacred. Brother. Who are these individuals? Tobias. I was thinking the same thing. Um, Naraya, I, like Serkin said, I, I wouldn't have brought him here if it wasn't life or death. Uh, uh -huh. We've had quite an eventful night, as I'm sure that you're aware. Um, there, uh, Haven? Haven, was it? Yes. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, the, uh, and he turns to Nan. Subjects released? Yeah, yeah, subjects. Uh, I had a bag over my head. I, I, All right, I, let me step uh, back in. Thank you. Yeah. We recovered Tobias's mother from the golds. Lots of blood was shed. When discussing where she'd been, we found out that the chaos caused at the go at the uh, X warehouse a few nights ago. You may have heard of the level of destruction. I'm aware. That was caused by one single subject. We now have reason to believe multiple subjects have been released at once throughout the city. And she kind of like stands a little taller, takes a breath and um, she like turns towards another individual nearby and gives him a head nod and he kind of takes off darting into um, one of the rooms Interesting. Can can we continue this conversation in the room with a very cool map in the center? <laughs> I know I'm in a silly mood, but I want Wayland to be like... <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of because I want Wayland to see it. <laughs> I want Wayland to see the... Because uh, that map has all the tunnels, too. And I want Wayland to see that as well. To buy, uh, Leonold. Excuse me. Do you vouch for these individuals? <laughs> Uriah? I'll be honest. I just met them. But I vouch for my daughter. And he kind of gives a glance to her who does not look back. Was you... And I trust her, and she trusts them. So if you believe in Kit, then I think you can trust them. And Naraya kind of looks down at Kit. You're all on a very short leash. This yes, way. mistress. That can keep up. <laughs> 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 uh, 
And she escorts you all into the war room. I'm gonna be Vox's dad. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of Nan. Huh? <laughs> I need to create a sense of competition for Nan. <laughs> She's like thumbing the trigger in her. <laughs> Most beautiful creature you've ever seen, please, my ass. Please don't thumb your trigger in front of everyone. <laughs> Oh, but on that note, um... I need that clipped, please. Boys episode. <laughs> Freaking Boy. boys episode. This is what happens in a boys episode. Boys episode. Get, on... get things like that. On that note, as she es escorts you, um, she does kind of flag another person who... People come with boxes, and they stop each of you, and they open the box, and they're like, empty your pockets, any weapons, sharp things, firearms, X... Uh, reluctantly exaggerated crouch. eye roll <laughs> so it can reproduce everything <laughs> the same uh, way he did it at Theo's all those days ago <laughs> all, <laughs> those, <laughs> all those many many hours many ago. days ago <laughs> uh, I guess I will uh, if they'll let me I'll keep the reinforced wooden hand and I'll like put the, the duffel bag with my like costume or the mask and uh, like grappling hook hand. I'll give okay. them that. Well, it's because it was just hurting my shoulder. So, me... so that hand is attached? Yeah, so, yeah if they'll let me. It's, it's a prosthetic. But One guy like grabs your arm. What's this? Um, I don't know. Uh, okay, wait. It's a I long just, story. I just need to decide if I'm going to be mean to this guy, but I don't <laughs> want to. Um, uh, uh, I'll, I'll just say, yeah, I'll, I'll say, <clears throat> that's my hand. <laughs> Sorry. Good answer. Sir can chime to not the one I took. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hand. Yeah, my, my first instinct, I don't know why, but it was to be very defensive. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's kind of an offensive question. Grabs really is. disabled hand and said, what's this? But I, I think Wayland recognizes the power dynamic. He needs to curry favor. He's not he's not going to be uh, aggressive here. You passed the test. Very good. Not... So you enter the you war room. The first of many tests. <laughs> and there is a large table and a map of Aurora in the center. And um, some a lot of people kind of strewn about working on different projects. Um one person, the person that she kind of nodded to that darted into this room just moments before is um, like searching something on the computer and look, looking for some information. Um, Dieter, have you found anything? Uh, nothing on the airwaves yet about any sort of commotion of that sort. Just a lot of hubbub about the funeral. <laughs> I'll keep you posted. Thank you. Well, until we get some evidence of this truth, there's another matter at sort. Mr. Sirocco, I believe you caused us a bit of an issue. Me? Yes. Do you recall placing our mark in a certain penthouse. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do. Well, I don't know what your motivation behind that act quite was, but an issue has risen because since that room was heavily searched by the light guard, I'm told that a certain tome was recovered from the space. And I believe it's one volume that matches our own. And she points her nose towards the big leather-bound book yes. that she previously talked about that kind of shared some ideas that leads them to believe that X is not a gift of the gods 
um, but it's only one of an unknown number of volumes, and so they don't have all the information. Unfortunately, that tome is now within the hands of the Light Guard and being held at the Citadel. We need that back. Would, uh, oh man, I don't know if any of us would know where in the Citadel they would keep something like that. I feel like that's something Theo would have the more knowledge of. Uh, well, do they know? Yeah. They seem to know way, like, the fact that the Light Guard even have it, so, like, the, and plus, uh, she's a lo- uh, Arch Luminary, right? So she she's an Arch, that's true. Probably pretty Even well agriculture. in the or agriculture, agriculture, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. How close can you get us to where we need to be? Using the tunnels, <laughs> and she's glancing at the. There's another map on the wall that has the tunnels <gasps> all mapped out. <laughs> <laughs> Sirkin smiles like I fucking knew he'd dig that. I wonder who drew that. <laughs> so much detail. Is Bubbles around? Bubble? Uh, I believe she is somewhere, maybe working in the shop. Why? It'd be nice to see her. Well, if you wish, you can <laughs> stop in the workshop and yes. say hello. You're start, using you're starting a little a certain pizza pie now. <laughs> <laughs> That's some <amazing. laughs> How many slices are you trying to dish out? Yes. Yes. There's a bobbled is a functional reason. I bet it is. <laughs> Purely <laughs> mechanical. Uh huh. It always is, huh? Yeah. yeah. Coming from the only person you like cast uh, like essentially the friend spell on. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's my best, my uh, forced best friend, my, my most malleable subject. <laughs> That's... Using the tunnels, you Secret can get to tunnel. an alley just adjacent to the citadel, but there are no entrances directly inside the citadel for obvious safety reasons. Are you volunteering? Sure. If anybody's going to get their hands on this, it should be me. It'll have to be set things right with you. Hmm. I'm liking you more and more each interaction, Mr. Sirocco. The feeling is mutual. I do want to alert you all that the sudden disappearance of Mr. Jebson, the Arch Luminary of Engineering, I was called to the seat of the Shining Sun. I won't share all the details of that meeting, but do you know anything about that? And she's looking around at all of you now. Oh. I know about... uh, What specifically? And you are? Oh, sorry. Uh, My name is Wayland. I go to lift my wrong hand and I go to fix it after... uh, Nice to meet you. She reaches out her... Correct hand. (laughs) and And like kind of places it atop yours. Nariah Kai. Pleasure. Uh, also yeah. known as Captain Hook. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was, uh, uh, Wayland blushes. <laughs> um, <laughs> hearing it for the first time, uh, <laughs> sounds really corny. And, uh, I'm very embarrassed in front of this powerful tall woman. Um, but, uh, I go, uh, I was there. Uh, the night he he died. Do you are you aware of the circumstances of his death? And she's kind of having some recognition at like Captain Hook. God damn it! Like, 
Like did somebody it read her like a, every time. Did somebody read her like a story when she was a kid about like a little boy who could fly or like all uh, them gold. Oh, there it is. That makes more sense. Yep. <laughs> That makes more sense. That makes more sense. <laughs> Are you, in fact, the individual that ended the life of Alden Gold? Well, I should start by saying, uh, I did fall onto his face, um, and I didn't put the spikes behind his face. <laughs> um, so I can't say that, like, I wanted to kill him. Holy but shit, there were spikes behind his face. You didn't tell us that part. Uh, well, <laughs> the the uh, it's a closed look, casket. Here's the thing. For here's the thing. Here's mm. the thing. Um, uh, the very man, the arch luminary, uh, that died that night, kind of orchestrated a death match, and I feel that it was him or me. However, you feel about the golds, um, I never would kill someone. Uh, in a situation like that, but I mean, I I genuinely felt like if the fight did end there, I might have been the one uh, to die. Well, unknowingly, I believe you did escalate the situation here in Aurora quite a bit that night. You'd rather me die. You're thinking about it too long. <laughs> what do you know about Ren Jebson? I know that uh, he was never going to pay me that prize money. Boom. Hmm. And what do you know of his disappearance? Uh, I guess um, what I know for sure is um, that these subjects that we're talking about were his creation and as an arch luminary i'm sure that even you don't aren't privy to the details in which those were being manufactured am i correct in assuming that that would be correct which is even more disheartening that even at the peak of power here in the city so much is beyond our control <laughs> yeah i i think that I think the power that you guys um, have been granted uh, to make progress in this city um, was being uh, absurdly abused by him. And I think that although his disappearance may be unprecedented, I feel like it is equal parts necessary. Hmm. Do you have any idea where he ended up? It seems that he's missing. Um, I... Promise you won't be mad. <laughs> <laughs> but first you gotta promise you're not gonna be mad, okay? <laughs> she... She kinda steals oh, herself and, he and grabs here. a stool and scoots it over. And Theo oh, can tell the story better. Theo is in Should here. Should we call him? Should we call Theo? <laughs> oh my god, please. Put him on speakerphone. Um, we can okay. call our friend Theo and put him on speakerphone if you'd like. You know what? That. Actually, actually, Theo. this is this is this is how this I is mean, how Theo I'll play is that. your lawyer. So <laughs> this is how this is how I'll play it. This is how I'll play it. I think that this is good. Um, uh, I will say, um, there is, uh, one more associate, um, and I know that this is, um supposed to be a secret place um but uh there is one more associate that is directly involved um and uh helping us Here with say. dealing with de dealing with the golds don't uh, directly involved with dealing with the golds um and uh i think that um as far as the whereabouts of that arch luminary i think he would be the best person to um divulge those details so if you would willing if you are willing uh, to invite one more person um, into your, I mean, like, quite impressive domicile. Those maps. Jesus. They're nice, right? I just mean, like, how long? 
Like they're so deep. Like that's my that's my safe house right there. Like I'm pretty sure Bob will. I don't think you're supposed I'm to divulge sure. that. <laughs> hey, we're in their safe house. They're, they're in, we're in their safe house. You know, it's a uh, some some. You uh, have a pen. I can mark it if you want. Well, okay. Well, okay. Come on. I pointed it out. Some, they forget, as they soon forget. as you pointed it out, somebody like just grabs a, a little thumbtack. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was, that was, well, now we know. <laughs> now we know a tunnel, so yeah, that'll be great. I'll be yeah. good for next time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I think, uh, uh, if you, if you'll allow, uh, one more, uh, person, uh, beyond this precipice, uh, that they're, they're the most qualified to, uh, talk to you about. Who is this individual? Uh, I think you may have heard of them. Um, uh, uh, Theodore uh, Maxwell. Serkin takes out the card that Theo gave him. <laughs> Waylon takes out the card that Theo gave him as well. <laughs> Kit also I takes out the card. Like, and yeah. Yeah. That's, That's exactly what I was saying. Yeah. I think in terms like I think many of us are familiar, and so many people, yeah. like <laughs> a dozen people in the room, all just. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, like, uh, like the mocking Jay thing, like everybody does. The... <laughs> just, <laughs> oh my god! But it's, everybody has to do it close up magic style because they all know his love of being an amateur magician. <laughs> <laughs> everybody puts their hands up and then bam, the cards. <laughs> Can we just say for flavor? Can we just say for flavor that one of like the Knights of Axiom tried to does it, but it's like the Ace of Spades by accident. They're like, oh, shit. <laughs> I am that. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't realize Mr. Maxwell got his hands so dirty. Only <sighs> you don't want to. Yeah, uh, and only as so much you must. I will. I will personally say that uh, as long as I'm here. Um, I hope his hands don't have to get dirty again. Anime flashback moment. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, was that the wrong flashback? <laughs> that was his breasts. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and where is Mr. Maxwell now? Uh, I believe he is tying up loose ends uh, on his own. Um, uh, we could call him once we return to the surface near the Citadel. Or, um, did he tell us where he was going, or did he just bugger off? No, I told him. Yeah, you said. Oh, we then, know uh, what his agenda he's... is. So, yeah, I guess we do so be... you know. He'd, we'll, if we're he'd be at the out. hospital. He'd be at the hospital right now. Well, we know that the last thing on his agenda was going to the cops so we should plan to meet him there oh yeah nice yeah <clears throat> so yeah Theo uh, by the by this time he should be on his way to speak to Commander Oren regarding some situations they have hmm. we could meet him there it seems that fate would align our <laughs> Motives. Oh, a flash the core rule book over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> cut to cut to. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I'm Miami. CSI, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I was right there with you. I did not, but thank you. Uh, yeah, no problem. Anytime, anytime to make that reference. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> if you can all succeed in bringing back the next volume in the series that we need. Consider that you're hazing, so to speak. <laughs> is this a cult? We? It is supposed to hurt. <laughs> um, <laughs> you'll be on your way now? Um, I do want to, before uh, we leave, um, because this is where Tobias's workshop that he was like working here is, right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I do, I do want to, um, like, kind of ask them, and I can even ask um, uh, Naraya as well. Um, uh, but I, uh, uh, if it's if it's all due respect, um, I think that uh, 
me and Sirkin, uh, we're pretty, uh, we're pretty tactically uh, savvy when it comes to uh, doing some kind of infiltration. Uh, I will need a crack team of about nine more guys. Raylan's uh, uh, <laughs> eleven, we'll call them. Uh, we need a place. <laughs> we need um, some kind of acrobat. Uh, that, those will be essential. But in the meantime, um, uh, Kid and Tobias have shown uh, genius uh, with their ingenuity, and I've been thinking about. Uh, and I'm sure that you guys have already thought about this, so I don't know if it's possible since you're dealing with with trying to remove X. But is there a way to make X antigens, um, preferably in, in gas form? Interesting. Oh! As a way to negate the effects of yeah. X? Through a vaporous form. Yeah. It's actually something that I believe Bobolt is working on in the workshop as we speak. How convenient. My dude. She's been having some trouble, but she is our best head on that. Perfect. You might want to stop in and speak with her. Sweet. Um, and like, just like as Austin, I just feel like that's a great thing for Kit to do, and I feel like Al can help, like you know, with his running and fetching and stuff. I feel like if they need stuff, it'd be a great use of their time. Sure. Uh, because this is the Hell boys' yeah. episode, baby. The boys. And, and we're freaking, we're freaking gonna do the heist as soon as we get the eight to nine more guys. Um, <laughs> a demolitions expert, an acrobat. We need I'm... a face. And, I know an uh, acrobat as well. Yeah. Okay. If we nice. don't Perfect. do a heist in this campaign. I will riot. <laughs> we're doing it right now. <laughs> it right it's now. happening right now. <sighs> so you use the people within your very group. I am not sparing <laughs> any more hands on this errand. <clears throat> Fair enough. Fair enough. Is a pipe dream anyway. Can a tear washes off of <laughs> No. Tears, tears. When I was a boy, I read the manuscript of this movie called Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> and it's the reason I chose my path. <laughs> I can't it? <laughs> Nobody spend any fake points. Um, okay, uh cool. So yeah, I guess we'll talk to to Bubble Tea. And, uh, we'll, see, um, we'll see what's uh, what's crackalack in there before we meet up with uh, T. I mean, see you. Can Vox accompany us? No. We should have somebody who knows the tunnel <laughs> to watch our back. <laughs> you're, you're and, and be at the entrance of the tunnel for a fast getaway should we need it. Theo will break his new rule real fast. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he looks at his mom. I mean, the right. I do know these tunnels. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. And she gives him kind of a glare. You will assist only from bottom side. You will not go to the surface. Huh. Am I clear? Uh, <sighs> yeah, mom. I mean, sorry. Luminary Kai. I have to call her that down here. Stupid. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, just, I, 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 with my good hand, I put it on his shoulder and be like, don't tell people that after you make the correction. Dishonor, <laughs> sir. Oh, oh. Okay. I don't and think he's like, getting it. Of... <laughs> 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 Can um, I roll to intimidate him? Sure. No, like I just, I just, it, like, I just want to be good. in a stern way. You know what I mean? I was trying to like give him like, like, like proper guidance, you know. And he shrugged it off, and I find that disrespectful. And he's disrespecting <laughs> his mother, and he's disrespecting his elders. So all I want to do is I want to shoot an icy glare past his eyes and directly into his spine. That's all I want. <laughs> I don't want to make a noise. All I want. I want to make a noise. I don't want to squeeze his shoulder. I just want to give him. I just want to give him the old man stare. Sure. 
And if you've never been hit with the old man stare, well, you're very lucky. If you've worked in retail, you've probably been hit with the old man. Working <laughs> all my, I'm no, you know the, the the old man stare, like like you're embarrassing your mother, kind of stare. <laughs> you know what I'm talking stare, about? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, yeah. I've embarrassed plenty of mothers. Oh my. Uh, that's an Ooh. interesting thing to just say right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I think I am going to just because I I I don't know why, but I really want this to work for Wayland. I'm gonna invoke uh, once a criminal, always a criminal, and be extra super intimidating, and turn that into a three. All right. So at first he. He kind of like shrugs away from your hand and then glances back um, and keeps your gaze a little too long and then like puts his eyes down and just like gives a nod. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's a good lad. Now tell her you're sorry. <laughs> sorry, Luminary Kai. <laughs> Wayland is satisfied. <laughs> uh, this way to, to bobble if you wanted to. And he, he leads you down the tunnels, turns a few times, and through a doorway where it's that same space circling that you've been. Um, it's got kind of the workbenches along the edge of the build, the, the room. That large uh, vehicle of some sorts that doesn't quite look like a car, um, but you're not quite sure what it is. In the middle, um, and Bobbelt working at one of the workbenches, and as you walk in, this, um, like, plume of smoke kind of blows up in her face. God damn it! I just can't get this to work! Bubbles, you'll figure it out. I'm sure you will. And she, like, perks up at the sound of your voice <laughs> and turns, and you're met with these big bottle glasses. She perks up. Circuit! And she runs over and stands a little too close to your face. I'm happy to oh. see you. I'm happy to see you as well. I specifically came to see you. Just to see me? Yes. Why? I need a map. <laughs> I need a map of all the tunnels. I saw that you've made one. I would like you to make one for me. Oh, um, I mean... That one in the in the war room, I, it kind of took me weeks. I bow yeah, deeply to her. I bow deeply. <laughs> Excellent craftsmanship. I need one that's smaller and more portable. Should we need to make fast uh, routes through the city for what we need to do? Um, yeah. Um, uh, what are what's the technology for the phones? Do we have? a camera or is it just like just a talking device like a speaking stone kind of thing i don't really remember what we got in on the details. it's fuzzy <laughs> but let's not open the door just take a yeah. picture of the phone uh, yeah i'm pretty sure we just did the uh, speaking stone rules yeah okay, stone. okay cool, cool. um here's the thing i'd love to good but we're not really <laughs> supposed to just take that information up to the surface because if it fell into the wrong hands we'd be um what's the word fucked bubbles it Bubble, won't be baby. in the wrong hands it'll be in my hands roll a uh what what's the getting word getting bitches check <laughs> <laughs> What's the word? It's like convince. Oh, persuasion. Do we have? We don't have a persuasion. Oh, we have a, a charisma. Rapport. Yeah, rapport or charisma. Charisma. Yeah. Charisma. <laughs> Weird. My charisma is not super good. <laughs> oh, that's so strange. Shocking. No one. Oh, Where are my clutch dice? Oh God, do I have something I can invoke? Because that was three straight up negatives. Oh. <laughs> um, that? Okay, I'm gonna invoke always push my luck because I've got her under my influence 
and I'm gonna be pushing her a little harder, pushing this friendship thing, asking for more than she's comfortable with, essentially. Yeah, it's a game. channel it. Yeah. yeah. And so is that a re-roll or you just That's a re-roll. That was three yeah. negatives. Okay, was... that's I would hope. All right. Okay, that is a three. Yes, three. <sighs> Uh, and she's like wrestling with it internally. Sure. Okay, but it's gonna be a secret, okay? <laughs> Our little secret. And only one. And she's looking at like all of you. I'm only doing it f for circuit. None of them have heard this conversation, correct? Uh, what? I blacked out. Well, and I assume everyone else gives a similar affirmation. <laughs> Seems illogical that you would black out and... Oh! <laughs> right. Um, it, it'll take some time. <laughs> You'll do good work, but do it quickly, please. I'll have to do it at, at night. Um, in, in my own room. Because I'm kind of working on some important project for Luminary Kai. Absolutely. If you if you have to not sleep to do it, I understand. I'm proud of you, Bob. I'm proud of you. Thanks. <laughs> Jeepers. I like it better when Theo does this. <laughs> it's you know what I will say though? I will say it's been a long time since I felt like physically repulsed from something Circuit has said or done, so it's kinda yeah, it's nostalgic to feel this way. Yeah. I mean, never forget who I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day. Um, do you wanna see what I'm working on though? I would love nothing more. <gasps> come here, come here, come here, come here. She takes you over to the workbench and there's kind of like different parts and um, canisters kind of lying about. And one thing is still a little fizzing, a, a small stream of smoke. Um, ignore that. That one's not, it's not working right now. But uh, essentially, um, what we're trying to do is take the, the power of um, friendship, of, of uh, <laughs> the herbs and the, the berries that we... You remember you tasted one? And, and it was, it was delicious. Tasted. Right, right. And... So really, we're we're trying to harness the 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 element and the molecule within the untainted uh, like produce and harness it in and and more of a like a vapor so that it can somehow counteract the the x abilities and the x effects. Holy shit! Waylon said the same thing like five minutes ago. It's wild. Really? Have you been working on something similar? Uh, no, I just, like, kind of thought, like, if I keep fighting people with X powers, I'm going to die. <laughs> so I was just kind of brainstorming to not die. Well, yeah, if the X continues on the trajectory it is, I think we're all going to die. Yeah, but I'll just die sooner, because I'll be fighting them. Wait. Yeah. Also, by the way, uh, not to be rude, uh, Bubbled, right? Yes. Who um, are you? Is, is that your first or last name? My name is Wayland. Wayland? Um, it's my first name. Fascinating. Proceed, please. Why is that fascinating? I just mean I've never, I've never met uh, a bobble. I just think that that's wait till you hear what her last name, name is. Let's no, hear I've it. Never, I've never her met a Wayland. Incredible. It's oh, really it's... long and complicated. It's nothing that special. <laughs> How many X's are in it again? I can't remember. <laughs> There's two of them, but only one of them is silent. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My name is... <laughs> My name is Bobot Ourobora Toraloxian. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I remember you. Uh, when you were when you were a child, you played hockey, and they actually had to they had to pick your name, and it stretched past your shoulders. They put the name badge, and it flapped behind you like little wings because all of the characters in your last name. That's right. I will spend a lore point for that. <laughs> Holy 
shit. They don't have hockey up here. Oh uh, my god, that's fucking great. I'm, or I'm having to write this out now. Yeah. Or uh, bo- b e a u x. Another, another tear falls from Wayward's eyes. The most beautiful sound he's ever heard. Sirkin also wipes it over. <laughs> I told you it was beautiful. It's profound. That's profound. That's like something that a biblically accurate angel would say. <laughs> you understand why she only introduces herself as Bobble. The power is getting much. It's powerful. That's powerful. Yeah. Well, I almost did people, whatever she told me to do. Some people just call me Bobble and keep the T silent, but not Sirkin. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit <laughs> oh, oh I forgot about that that's just mean that's bullying a little bit what what brings you all back down to the tunnels friendship uh, <laughs> uh. we uh have decided to undertake a very dangerous heist inside the citadel to retrieve another one of those tomes oh, yeah. you guys are going to go get her book Indeed. That could be very dangerous. Do you have any elaborate gadgets? Oh my god, yes. This <laughs> isn't Ocean's Eleven. It's obviously James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> B, Duh. I need your help. Um. Well. Actually. Um, and she goes over to a different workbench. Uh, these I, I just finished fixing the other day. Um, it, one of our, our our agents used them. I don't know if you're familiar with um, the the parade and in, in that uh, explosion. Mm-hmm. But um, these are these are what she used to kind of get away. They went on the fritz, but I think I fixed it. The boots, and she brings over these boots. Um, they're kind of once they're activated, they're kind of triggered by uh, a, a kinesthetic jolt and if you you almost can run in the air they're they're kind of jet propelled they're not x propelled that's we, we we don't use x but i i've managed to use a kind of a jet propulsion so that makes them a little dangerous but I, i'm pretty sure they work i haven't tested them but you're welcome to take them if you'd like Sirkin looks to wayland like you down <laughs> <laughs> Are you like, trying well, to put them on Wayland? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I, I, I Wayland, that, does Wayland want them? I mean, I guess that would be a nice fail safe for if I'm like in the air and my hook fa- fails. It's like I get a double jump. <laughs> so yeah, I, right. So I don't crash to the ground. I mean, if they're <laughs> if they're for Wayland, Wayland and, will happily put them on. And you don't have to have your grappling hook to get airborne now. True. True. Um, you could use them like. In unison, like Spider Man. Yeah, exactly. You could yeah, okay, like fucking cool. sneak uh, around and shit. Oh, or like super, like, lock. I, I gotta come up with an Ooh. anime name for what Rushing Strike turns into when I've got those boots. Oh, you got a new stunt. <laughs> You're gonna lose another <laughs> fate token. But, oh, wow. Well. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll happily take them. Uh, you got these in a, a size 11. Oh, they're adjustable rock and roll do we have rock and roll in this world uh we have cloud rock yes yeah, nice cloud nice. rock it's like kids bop but you i know. love cloud rock oh FM. no it's, it's, it's still it's rock and roll still because like rolling clouds rock and, <laughs> rock and roll nice rock and roll. rolling thunder rock and roll that's nice. actually even better <laughs> rock and roll um vox at the door uh guys we we might want to get a move on um, if we're going to do this. I think the time is now while a lot of energy is at the funeral. Do you have one second? Do you have anything that can help us get through any security? Do you have any fake credentials? Anything we could use? <sighs> Asking, directing both to Bobble and uh, Vox. Like, like a white guard badge? <laughs> or janitorial whatever gets us through the doors whatever can get us through any security doors 
Uh, I mean, we've got Theo for that, uh, Waylon says to Sirkin. Oh, Theo can get us in. I'm, I'm sure of it. You're absolutely right. Uh, the best I have is intel that um, there's a, a side door on the east side of the, the building that um, sometimes doesn't always latch. Oh. And, and, and I know they put a work order in to fix it. Um, so before it gets fixed, now is the time. Perfect. Um, and Bobolt looks at like Tobias. Actually, is it Tobias? Is he going as well? Because I could really use his help. He will be staying. Give you all the help you need. This is our friend Al. Al will also run to get any equipment, so you don't need to leave your area. Uh, wow. You got me your team? I sure yeah, did. Actually. Just yeah. for you. And you uh, get the team. Let's not count out uh yeah, let's not count out the, the most brilliant mind among us. And uh We turn and Kit's already at the workbench, like across <laughs> there, like dicking with stuff. She's <laughs> jabronis. What bunk, you guys bunk. say? <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm curious how well she would want to work with her dad. Right. So I was thinking going across the room and tinkering. Yeah. Like on her own project. Yeah. I do love the idea of them all doing it together, and then she comes up with it on her own. Right. Actually, um, I've I've got a project that with that she she might be drawn to. That okay. Oh yeah. I'll I'll check with her after the fact. But nice. Vox says, if if we're gonna go, now's the time. Let's go. Star wipe. <laughs> what? Star just... wipe. <laughs> to, to, the, to the heist. I'm sorry, are you like having an aneurysm? What, is... <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? What are you saying? <clears throat> so let's cut to Theo. So excited. Theo, you are on your way to the Citadel. True that. Um. By the time that you left, and after all the shenanigans at the hospital, um, it's probably not quite six. It's it's still early, maybe like an hour or two before. Okay. Just for note. Noted. I feel like that's important. So you're headed to the Citadel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Probably did you guys... working on some cases along the way because Theo doesn't stop working and he still has people to take care of. Did you guys clue Theo in on any of this heist business? Uh, no, do we have... Do we ha I was under the impression, when, based on what Sirkin said, that there's no cell service down here. Oh, okay. So you're waiting to get to the surface to yeah. give him a call? Yeah, play, yeah, we'll reach... We'll make contact when we are outside the Citadel. My Looney Tune brain wants to, like pop out of a tunnel and like grab him <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um and then for continuity's sake it by the time that he's about reaching the citadel would probably be the time that you would be getting above surface so if you wanted to connect with him now would be the time Sirkin pulls out his phone to call and before it even rings Theo gets out of the car and it's like oh hi <laughs> what are you guys doing? It's boys' night. Oh, come with me. And he turns and walks back to the alley. I have a meeting in ten minutes. Trust me, it's worth it. All right. Theo walks through the alley and stops. I'm not going into an alley with Sir. Q <laughs> Wayland in the shadows with a potato sack. What an insane <laughs> way I would kill someone. <laughs> hey, come over here. Theo stops on the corner and just peeks one eye around the corner. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> How strange that is. Hey, hey, buddy. Come here. Come here. No, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. You want a, you want a cookie? <laughs> so when you peek around the corner, you just see uh, Vox circling on the other side of the wall, one eye. <laughs> I was waiting for you. <laughs> what the fuck is and he doing here? Vox is going to be part of our getaway. We have to 
acquire something inside the citadel and we need your help. Theo looks it. around Cirque and gives him the finger and it comes back. <laughs> um, kind of feel like that's not cool, but uh, actually, I this is... Anyway, Sirkin, you This is saying. where I leave you. I'm not even supposed to come up this far, so just oh, when... Oh, good. You're useless anyways. Bro, did I do something to you? It's not me. All right. Thanks, Thank you love. for the... Thank you for the pouch of dust, whatever this is. <laughs> yeah, we call it we call it lock dust. Lock dust. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll be waiting down in the tunnel where you belong. Keep, keep the engine running. <laughs> you know what? Give that guy a hug. He might need some He'll sort of love. Finger again. There's something broken, and and I acknowledge that. And maybe one day you can find the healing that you so Shut desperately up, cool. need. Me least. This <laughs> circuit gives him a nod of approval. <laughs> Be you, Vox. Be you. Uh, we look in salute. <laughs> we, we, we quickly uh, catch Theo up on all the conversation he already heard. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I just I wanna I wanna definitely punctuate that like we want to be in these guys' good graces. It's in our best interest, which you already know, and also uh, uh, this might soften them up for um, letting them in on Ren Jepsen's whereabouts. Oh. Did we? I thought we killed Ren. Hold on. Yeah, we did. You did. Yeah. I don't remember what happened to him afterwards, though. Oh, you his body him. was just missing. Yeah, you dealt with him. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. I forgot dead. that when they went to the warehouse, his body was just gone. That was like that was like the first time that uh, Wayland was like, "Oh, is he a sociopath?" <laughs> <laughs> the first time specifically. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Cool. So yeah, uh, I just wanted to make sure that part was specifically punctuated to make sure that Theo has all the motivation he needs mm -hmm. to help us get in. Um. But I, you guys feel... know I can probably just ask for it, right? Uh, that nope, would be sure. a great start. That, that would, would be, be terrific. Start. Yeah, totally. yeah. As much as like I think a heist would be fun and would take a lot of stress off our, I think I can probably just leave. I think I can just get it. Okay, I didn't have my ski mask anyway. I was gonna have to run no. home. No worries. A uh, uh, plan B, though, at least see if you can find it like if you can get taken to it that would be an excellent start if they at don't the just bear man. At yeah. the bear man. Um, should we, do should have we wait great here concerns with working with the knights in general um i think that when you meet them uh you might change your mind i think that you should meet them regardless though so i think that it's important i already met one of them not impressed he uh who did he meet for the record Box. <laughs> um, yeah, I can personally, I can personally vouch uh, that their uh, their craftsmanship is next level. And if you want to see the coolest map you've ever seen, you just absolutely <laughs> gotta check out their base. A cool map. Honest to God, it's the On, best map I've ever seen. <laughs> I, I felt like I felt like I was looking at the city. I know that's like, not even possible. Think of the best map of the city you've ever seen. It's better. Double it. <laughs> double it, um, give it to the next person. Yeah. I, <laughs> Have them double it. It's would, terrific. Would Theo know who Vox's mother is? Would that be something he's aware of? Um, if you ever heard his last name, maybe you might make a connection. I guess like realistic. Oh, no, you do no know because I, I told you. Okay, oh, you when, did when you came yeah. back. When we came back, we just we disclosed everything that happened, and then that's right. Axiom, so you know. Uh, that's, right. that's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, she and I don't get along. You I can believe how many of her people have your business card? It's <laughs> they all they all did the thing. It was isn't it good? It's it's great for marketing. Yeah, she and I have had. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways, not important. Uh, there just might need to be a buffer. I would happily get between the two of you. That got oh, weird. And Theo turns and walks into the city. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, cool. So I guess what uh, what 
uh, Wayland will do in the meantime, and Sir can, can feel free to fall. Go on the building across the street. But yeah, I want to have I want to have advantage point of that like weak entry point, the the like uh, bum door. I want to have a vantage point there if possible. Like if there's a building across the street facing that way, or any any the the if I can get there in one round of movement, that's where I'd like to be. Um, so the alley that you came out of. And it goes without saying that all your things were returned to you. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> um, so the alley that you came out of is, like, one building away from the Citadel. So there's a building between as a buffer. And um, you would know, based on the description, that on that same side of the Citadel is where that maybe weak entry point is. So if you got on the building between you could maybe peer down okay cool uh yeah, what do make. i have to roll to try to use these boots <laughs> and, and did, she, did she specify that they were like a one time per day thing or are they like a free use kind of thing uh, i no, was she there limitations was, I can't she was running across the sky at the bombing yeah but then like they momentarily up, yeah and they blew up under her. so that's what i was so she she claims she fixed them right uh, but did she say like this is a one time per day? Then they got to refuel, or I can't. Um, you, she didn't say any of that. She just told you that they're jet fueled. Um, so you would assume there's a certain amount of fuel that, that's within them. Uh, is there um, like an indicator on the middle? I can inspect. God, I'm um, really feeling like I shouldn't use. Spend these. a point. Spend a point. Give a <laughs> point. Do, do a perception check first, or investigate. Look at. Take a good look at them. Yeah, let me take a good look at these things. Ooh. Uh, oh, uh, the exact same result as last time. Two neutrals, a positive and a negative. So my investigation is plus one. Yeah, so that's, that's a one. Okay. Um, as you're giving a good look at these, you remember Iron Man's first suit? Uh, yeah. Wayland, Wayland remembers it fondly. Yeah. <laughs> Like the cave suit or the first suit out of the cave? The cave suit. Copy. The one that's like taking random materials and stringing them together. Mm. That's a little bit what these boots look like. Um, they're kind of this leather boot, but um, reinforced with some metal on one side with where the, the jet propulsion aspect is. Okay. And it's kind of strapped together. Um, you've seen them at work. So you know they can work, but then they went on the fritz immediately. Um, she said that she's pretty sure they're fixed, but she hadn't tested them. Um, you don't see any sort of indicator. You just see a... Yo, may close my window real quick. Like the size of a coffee can. It's close. Um, <laughs> of uh, where you would assume that the fuel would get put in, so... It's a limited use. Okay, so I am just going to... Uh, assume that these are going to be a last ditch effort kind of thing. I'm not going to rely on them because it feels still pretty volatile. Wayland is apprehensive. Um, okay, cool. So then I'm just going to uh, use uh, the good old fashioned grapple hook. Roll burglary. Okay, come on, baby. Uh, okay, so that is that shakes out to be. God damn it! <laughs> shakes out to be a two. A two? Yeah. Um, so you you connect with the top of the building, um, and you kind of scale up, but um, something kind of gets caught in your get up with the grappling hook and so now you're hanging mid building this is probably like a four story building um there's a fire escape if you can swing to it but sure athletics sure oh man kick off the building and use the boots no I'm not gonna yeah. use the boots right away the boots are bitchin superman the boots have to <laughs> save my ass not <laughs> uh okay that's uh that's better. 
Uh, that's a four. Hell yeah. Okay. So you can kind of successfully swing and uh, maneuver to the fire escape. Radical. Okay, cool. I, uh, like nothing happened, shimmy up the... <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's exactly what I didn't want to be too conspicuous, so I should just walk. But I didn't want to pull the ladder down. Doing a lot of old man mumbling today. <laughs> <laughs> um, while you're on the top of this building, give me a stealth check. Can do. And this is... So, night is just kind of fallen. Or is no, it like it's, sunset? It's like late afternoon. I thought it was like 6 o'clock. Was the meeting? No, I said it was a couple hours before. Oh, okay, okay. So it's pre-evening. Pre-evening, yeah. It's like that's 4 good. or 5. Oh, that's so bad. Two neutrals, two negatives for the stealth. Um, okay, I guess I'll have to invoke something else. I will invoke giving up the ghost. Uh, or no one said it was easy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I'm just going to take a re-roll, I think. Jesus. Okay, that's a positive. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> that's a fucking one. <laughs> okay. Just keeping that in mind, uh, because being directly next to the Citadel, um, you would assume that there's some enhanced security measures. Sure. In the Can vicinity. I see anything? Um, give me a perception. God damn it. Keep making me roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, being dice cursed is so fun. Truly neutral, which means it's a two. Uh, yeah. You don't, you don't see much, but you do in the distance here. Um, the whir of a drone. Copy. Oh, and I've been chased by drones already before, so I know that they exist. Is it? Okay. Sirkin, what are you doing? Sirkin is going to go post up by that door. He's going to go in that uh, area by the side door. They told Theo that way if Theo can get it, but he can't get out with it, he knows a route to either get out or get the book to me. Okay, so from... The front, the street side of the building, um, you would see kind of a small alleyway that navigates, but um, before it gets too deep into the alley, there is a fence. Is it pretty, and would it be too, incon too conspicuous to climb? You can try. It's a little tucked in. It's not like right at street side, so you'd have a little bit of cover. Uh, from the public view, but mm -hmm. you could try to make a roll. Uh, how well on the on this side of the fence? How far is that door? Um, you can see it maybe like twenty yards further back. Got it. All right, I'm gonna take some time to scope out security and all that. Well. Theo goes in, but I'm going to basically stay near the door and not have to go through unless I see a clear opening or that door opens. Okay. Uh, Theo, you walk straight into the front door of the Citadel? Yeah. Okay. So you, this is a familiar space to you. You walk up the steps um, and into the front door and there's kind of a big front desk. Um, there's a lot of areas that you can see beyond, but there's like some kind of walled off areas with some windows and there is a stern looking woman at the front um, just getting off the phone and filing some paperwork. Oh, look at that beautiful lady. Nope. Not today, Theo. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Theo pulls a rose out of his sleeve. <laughs> she takes it. Great. I'll add it to my collection. Opens a drawer, throws it in. <laughs> I'm all bound up today. What do you need? I've got a meeting with Commander Orton, but I'm not worried about him right now. I'm worried about you. What's going on? It's it's a lot. Is there a lot going on all the time? What do you need like, help with? I'm I'm the only one here at the front desk. They got me answering phones, filing paperwork, doing 
fucking payroll. Like, shouldn't that be somebody else? Not the front desk. absolutely needs somebody else. And it's just a, a, a stressful environment to work for the last 15 years. So, the likes of you come in and you're bothering me, throwing fake flowers at me. That was a real flower. Oh, it was? She opens it again. You think I'm going to give you fakes? Come on now. Oh, well, I have not been watering those. <laughs> <laughs> points to the one. Yeah, you, think, you, you think like after the first one wilted and died, she'd be like, eh, they're probably not plastic. <laughs> These are really good plastic flowers. <laughs> Listen, if you need some help, you just call me and I'll make sure you get everything you need. Roll a charisma. Five. Hell yeah. What I wouldn't give. <laughs> For just a day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you think you could do for my job here. But keep your phone close. Your wish is my command. Ooh. You said you had a meeting with Commander Warren? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I'd let you know how beautiful you look today before going to see him. And she's like looking <laughs> in the book. Yeah, it's not till six. He's I not know, here. I got some work to do, so I'll just wait in this office for him. <laughs> you're just going to sit here and, and wait? I'm going to wait in his office, but yeah. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. He knows. It's fine. I already talked to him. No, he says six o'clock. He's not here. Right. You're not going but, in that office. But I let him know I need his office to work on some cases which is privy information, and he was fine with it. Roll another. That's <laughs> real good. It's another five. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, but don't mess with anything. Of course. Right? <laughs> Listen, I understand personal boundaries and respect. I just need to get some work done. It's easier. Well, since, you know, Max has got shut up, I don't really have a place to work right now. So, and he was being accommodating for me before we had our meeting today. Well, he's a good guy. He and sure she, is. She hits a button underneath the desk and you hear a... Thanks, Sugar. There's a door uh, to your right, left of the desk, um, that is unlocked. And this little green light. And Theo goes in. You know your way? On his way out. Of course I do. Okay, so you're now back behind <laughs> the Citadel, and now that you're on the other side of the door, there is um, a staircase that leads up to another level uh, that you can kind of see a, a balcony, but then you assume there's some offices and other desks behind, and then here on the lower level, um, there's some hallways and some other doors that lead to different offices, to uh, the holding cells. Theo just goes to Orton's office. Okay. So that is up the stairs. You're gonna go up the stairs and you weave through kind of the the bullpen where all these different light guard detectives and officers are working on cases. It's about 50-50. Some are excited to see him. Some are fucking utterly pissed. He's just walking through there. Yeah. Um, no, it's the same day. I was about to have you run into Sloan, but he's... <laughs> 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 and, um, and at the back of this area, there is a large office with a, like a, a window that faces out to the bullpen so that Oren can kind of keep tabs and see what's going on out there while he's working in his office. Stalker much? <laughs> Great place for Theo to post up. Theo's going directly to sit at his desk and just start working. <laughs> Um, you do catch some eyes of people like you keep staring at you um, inside the office as you're sitting at Commander Orin's desk. <laughs> huh. So you're uh, sitting. Yep. Uh, so you said I have standing. time to kill there. Uh, in between working, I'd like to roll perception to see what he has amassed on like the gold family in Haven. Oh, okay. Go ahead and roll investigate investigate okay all right and i feel like 
All right, uh, we're going to go ahead and use um, Man of Many Masks uh, to roll in his uh, stealthy side of things to that. So when you're when you're looking for this information, there is uh, a desk which he keeps pretty tidy. Um, he doesn't have like a bunch of files and cases out strewn. It's pretty a, a barren desk. It's, he's got some drawers and some other filing cabinets, but there is a computer. Um, yeah, basically what Theo's doing, Theo is like throwing his files out on the desk, making it look like he's working. And then while he's working on like a different file, like brings one hand like to one of the cabinets and like pries it open uh, to try to like look through it nonchalantly, but making it look like he's working on his own files. Okay, so go ahead and roll the investigate, but then I'll need a stealth roll as well. Okay. Fucking hell, that is so much better. Uh, that's a six on investigate. Shit, okay. Stealth is going to be a bit more of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do? What can I do for that? Please, like, I mean, like the the next time I go to punch someone, I'm going to roll a 100. But that's a four. <laughs> that's four. True. Okay. Uh, this I used all my good rolls. This got to go real bad, real fast. <laughs> um, since there's so many eyes on you, I will tell you that this window has blinds. Oh. You'd like to. Yeah, so one, so one thing he was doing is there's like reading a file and he's gonna have his like back turned and when he looks over, one of the light guards is gonna be like looking through the window, he's gonna smack the window, close the file, and then shut the blinds. Okay. So that'll give you your four. So that way if anybody's like, why the fuck are my blind shows? Like I was reading a file and one of your officers was trying to read over my shoulder. Okay. So with a six, that is uh fantastic on the on the ladder um you go through the drawers and the different filing cabinets to find any mention of gold kieran haven alden and um you find plenty of information regarding the gold but so much of it is redacted mm. like you keep running in as soon as you're like you're nosing through and you're, you're finding something that could link them to criminal activity then immediately it becomes redacted and you just keep running into those kinds of and these are even in Commander Orton's personal files they're redacted this is uh, which would explain why he even in his position um, isn't able to within the bounds of the law take action because he legally doesn't know he might hear things, but he can't prove it because things keep getting covered up. And he's a luminary as well, right? No, he's just the commander of the light guard. Okay, okay. There is a luminary of defense or justice or something, though? Luminary of justice. Yes. That would... Donald Ludison. Dolan. Or, I'm sorry, Dolan. Ludison. Yeah. And, and he's... Of justice. And he is separate from the light guard, or is he like they're like... Yeah, is he like a chief justice or is he? Yeah, what is he? Like it would be a more like a of defense. It would be more like a chief justice. Okay. Like a, a Supreme Court judge, kind of highest law. Oh. Yeah. Lame. Well, I'm about to kill him too. <laughs> he so, might be and, bad. Um, so roll, a, roll a lore if you would like to see if you remember much about that arch luminary is that for everybody or yeah oh that's oh, not great that's a zero for Theo. uh so that's a plus one that's a plus one for me neutral 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 what's my lawyer <laughs> <laughs> exactly oh my god disgusting austin oh my god that'll be a one for me boss <laughs> so strangely enough of all oh, luminaries that's... that you know of um this one keeps to themselves um you don't quite hear oh. about much of of them like getting into trouble or being in the limelight um from what you're aware is they do their work as well as they can but behind closed doors and in their office and um the citadel is pretty high security but um the i guess the hall of justice kind of area oh shit we haven't met fagin you're this yet either uh-uh the Arch Luminary of Capital. There's four of them, right? He's 
He's like, there's four there now. Were, there were four five. Now. five. Oh, there were five. That's right. That's Intelligence, right. which is Errol Faust, which you've met. Dolan Ludinson, Justice. Uh, Ren Jepsen, Engineering, which you've met. Oh, Uriah yeah. Kai, Agriculture. And Capital, which is Fagan Uranus. Copy. So, from our perspectives, either one of them could be corrupt, but it seems like it would probably be the Justice one. Because if they're redacting documents feels like that would be a supreme court kind of i see that thought justice. process and i agree yeah mm. that makes sense if someone's corrupt it's probably him um like we'll, we'll need to know more but i wonder if there's someone intercepting between him and possible i mean that's a great question for Oren. even oh yeah i got a good person in mind that it could be cough cough wink wink nudge nudge Sirkin uh, calls Theo. Uh, yeah. How's it going in there? Um, so, you know how we know gold. Hold on, I'm already lined Wayland in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wayland, are you there? <laughs> oh, 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 hello? Uh, hey. Wayland this whole time has been sweeping the roof he's on. <laughs> he found a push broom. He found a push broom up there. He found a push broom up there, and he noticed that it was looking really shabby, mm. and uh, and so he just couldn't help it. He just started uh, cleaning up. Nice. Uh, hello. Hold on. I'm, I'm gonna bring you into it's. Got, I got uh, Theo on the other. Hold bring on. Him. Hold oh. on. All right, Theo, are you there? Yeah. All right, we're all here. Well, I. I'm in Commander Orton's office, and I have all of his files on gold. Everything is redacted. That doesn't make sense. I'm talking about six words a page. Readable. Redacted. Anything of value? I'm talking about was, thus, there. You'll have to talk to Commander Orton about this. Uh, that's, I feel like he is going to be much more open to working with us than we originally believed. Have you found any information on where the tome is being kept? Uh, that's what I was looking for, but I'm not seeing anything, so I'm just going to ask him for that directly. We have, uh, how long is it until your meeting? A few hours? No, probably an hour by now. An hour, okay. I was trying to give you guys time to do this before the meeting is, was my intent, not to just oh. kill time. Well, so I was... I missed I, that, my bad. While well, he was so, out of the office. So yeah, so the, this is what I'm thinking. If we act now, before he arrives, we can be gone and back to the nights before anybody knows it's gone. Well, that is true. We could also burn a considerable ally. Uh... Uh, uh, first of all, crazy I'm talking to you both at the same time. It's <laughs> so fascinating. But, uh, but as I'm reeling myself in, um, uh, is it possible if you trust this Orin guy, um, and he trusts you back? I noticed that I'm talking on the phone here, stretch. but <laughs> that's fine. um, uh, could you say that, uh, you, man with many contacts, get touched, uh, uh, get in touch with uh, from all corners of uh, of this city. Um, you have a possible in with the Knights of Axiom, and they need this tome, and so you're using it as a bargain chip to curry their favor. And perhaps we can, well, I don't know what your plan is, but we could pretend we're going to double cross them, and he has to be none the wiser. They stole the tome from us. The the job went bad from Oren's side. And then from the knight's side, we just hand them the tome and we know that they need it and they're going to use it for good. Which is What if we promise to return it? But I can just say this is for a case and I need it for discovery and he's legally obligated to provide it. Amen. That's a, If he tells that's me beat. no said you know what i gave him a forewarning but i feel like <laughs> if he's not really one we want to cross right now for the uh and theo begins kind of like look through the blinds and like see his eyes on the other side yep <laughs> um but, yeah. i can send out security in there if you'd like 
I'll give you a call if push comes to shove and I need a distraction between the two of you. I think I can probably finagle worst case scenario. I've got a distraction ready. I... Just say the word. Gonna plausible deniability that one. Uh, <laughs> okay. If I call and you don't hear me on the other line, just know it's a go. Heard. I will talk soon. I've got light guard members staring at me. And Theogris grabs something on the deck and throws it at the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, goodbye, Theo. And also, goodbye, <laughs> Circuit. What? <laughs> <laughs> I would be honest. I don't know the last time I had a three-line call. <laughs> I was in the high school for sure. Ah, oh, that was twenty years ago. Jesus. Yeah. Um. So yeah, as, okay. so you're just in a holding pattern, essentially. Yeah. I mean, the roof is going to be spotless when I'm done. <laughs> Hold on, question: Does Wayland have allergies? Because you're going to be kicking up a lot. <laughs> I'm wearing the mask. <laughs> <laughs> it covers my covers my nose. Light guards are getting calls. Hey, I think there's a superhero on the roof. There's a What's mask. he doing? Sweeping? <laughs> That's a mass vigilante. This is a our <laughs> complex. This this roof was a super mess. <laughs> <laughs> so then Theo, as you're working in that office, um suddenly the door opens up. And there's a light guard, and they're kind of dressed down. They're not in formal gear. Does Theo recognize them? Yeah. It's the officer. I believe it was Strom. That, oh, that rings a bell for some reason. Yeah. That ex used excessive force on you. Oh, yeah. that piece of mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. um, and he's holding a box. He leans back in the chair and puts his feet up on the desk. Sure. Mr. Maxwell. Just the man I was looking for. And he's got a box and he kind of throws it on the ground and some personal effects pop out. I have you to thank for this. And the city also thanks me for getting you out of a position you are not qualified for. God damn. Ah! But you know what? I have something else to thank you for. Cause since uh and he's like looking looking back, closes the door. I'm no longer a law abiding citizen. I don't have a book to uphold. <laughs> So, uh, what do you say we settle this debt right here, right now? We could do that, but I don't think you want your ass kicked by me twice in one week now, do you? Because it's starting to get embarrassing for you. Oh, uh, I do, though. And he starts cracking his neck and uh, he's Theo rolling up his sleeve. something immediately at his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> what do you throw and roll shoot? Uh, you know what? Better off Theo throw something at the window. Nice. Okay, what do you throw? Um, I'm assuming the commander's got some level of a plaque or something like heavy award base that he's like, I'm a, in my head canon, Commander Orton's like a good guy. Uh, so Theo just grabs something of substance, like probably an award he's his received. Name plate. His nameplate. His <laughs> nameplate just chucks it at the window to break it. Okay, roll shoot. Break the wind. Oh, well, that's a good call. That's a three. Um, uh, how do I roll for a window? <laughs> <laughs> I think what you would do is you like for me. I would set a DC. Yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> but thank you for asking me that. Question. Sorry, sorry, that was too earnest. <laughs> <laughs> so precious. I love the wholesome sides of Austin when they come out. He's like, oh, yes, I can help. Um, <laughs> uh, it was a three. Okay. Yeah. So. You throw this thing, and it, it does a, a considerable crack. It doesn't blast through this whole window. It's, it's a pretty hefty window, probably reinforced, as many of the glass uh, windows are in this entire building. Uh, but you give it a good crack. 
Um, and he, Strom just like comes around the desk and he's gonna swing at you. Okay. So roll a defense and I'll roll fight. I don't. I'm back to not knowing how. Um, you just anything with a shield on it, so long as you can justify it, you can roll to defend yourself. Basically, you can use athletics, um, connections if it's appropriate. Can, do I just Steve. roll? Fight. Oh, I can roll deception. You can roll fight. Yeah, but it's deception be... is better. But I want to use my fires and ability. throw them in the air to distract him. Oh, okay. Let's go. go. Does that work? Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a four. Oh wait, where's my where are my cards? Where are my cards? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Everyone's gonna be so pissed off. To clarify, Theo threw his files. Yeah, his, his own. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> as a four. Yeah. All right. So he's he swings through, and you you throw these papers in the air, and it causes him to completely. It's like a magician throwing eye. fucking a cloud. It's just uh-huh. papers, and Theo disappears. Theo yeah. <laughs> appears in the bullpen. <laughs> so you throw these papers. Then what do you do? Uh, heads towards the door. <laughs> um. So that's a free movement. That's within this zone, essentially, if we're in combat. And so then... Yeah, that was just him? going to the bullpen. He okay. made a promise to Sirkin, so... And also, okay. right now, this can play into manipulation tactics, mm-hmm. so... Smart. Uh, but when Theo opens the door, uh, he's gonna, like, throw himself out like he just got hit. Hell yeah! Nice! Okay, roll another deception for that. Ooh, uh, man of many masks. I'm gonna pull on my uh, acting. <laughs> I'm gonna use a fate point because that was four negatives. Oh, ow. Damn. Yeah. Much better. That's a three again. Okay, so as this door flies open and you throw yourself out, <laughs> I'm assuming it's like um, cubicles. Theo's gonna like throw himself into the corner of one of them to kind of like help play into uh, the hit if people like look at him. Nice. Yeah, they don't have, like, <clears throat> separate walls or anything, but they mm-hmm. are, like, desks kind of piled together. Yeah, Theo's just um, throwing himself into the corner of somebody. Oh, mm-hmm. God. Okay, so at the, the the notice of this, all these officers, like, get up and, like, gasp and start, like, what's going on? What and, the fuck are you doing? Back. It's too late now. And he just comes over oh. and he's going to, like, grab you by the collar and just straight punch you in the face. Oh, good. So roll, you can roll fight as defense, or... Yeah, I think that's really the only fitting one for this one. Take your licks a little bit. It might help the... Right in front of everybody. Oh, that's a two. So how do you block this? Because he rolled a one. Uh, Theo's just going to move his head to the side, make him punch the wall. (laughs) Which is a... Can you do anything right? (laughs) Jesus. All right, your move. Uh, I think Theo's just gonna shove him off and kind of make his way deeper into the bullpit. Okay, roll a, a fight. Oof, that's a one. <laughs> yeah, That's not really Theo's long strong suit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so not, you, not a fighting man. You attempt to, like, push, but he's, like, really leaning into you. So essentially, you're grappled. Okay. And you aren't able to go deeper into the bullpen. And are but any if- light guard responding to this? Uh, at first, they they are not quite sure what's going on. They're reading the situation. Um, Damn, that's some shit fucking light guard. Roll roll connection, just to oh, see how many. There we go. Now we're talking. How many would help you versus him? <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's a fucking yeah. eight. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Max out. How do I pick my dice? You know what? <laughs> oh my god. Beautiful. Damn. I also just realized I don't have pants on, so I hope nothing got fucking got I, there. I didn't notice, so I also wasn't looking. I only saw one ball. So, <laughs> so as he's leaning in and you're trying to get him off, then immediately, um, four different light guard each like come around him and grab him and pull him off, and slam him into the the window just behind you into his office. It breaks like, through the rest of Orin's window. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Let's let's see how strong that window is at. <laughs> um, it does do another big crack. <laughs> ah, that's fucking great. 
Uh, it doesn't shatter, but it's a big crack. And they're, they're like, damn it, Strom, this is why you're off the force. You're a hothead. You can't keep yourself together. And then another light guard goes and grabs, picks, uh, offers her hand, his hand to you, Theo. Uh, Theo grabs his hand to help stand up. Sorry, Theo. This guy, he's a bit off his meds. I think he's been experimenting with Axe, honestly. You know what? I'm not shocked. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and press charges on this one because he doesn't need to be in public. <sighs> I was afraid he'd say that. <laughs> and Theo what? winks at him. I'll start the paperwork. Uh, uh, can you step over here and get a statement? Absolutely. And he leads you over to a desk, and there's a, a, a chair just directly next to it. Take a seat. Uh, by the way, what? why were you in Commander Oren's office anyway? I've got a meeting with him, and I needed to get some work done, and he told me I could use his office in the meantime. That's strange. He normally doesn't let anyone in there. It was the meeting, the with the shooting, I don't really have a place to work right now, and with it being confidential information, needed to be away from people. Right, okay. Well, uh... Okay, uh, meeting, and he's, like, typing into a computer with Oren, office, and... Um, how did this whole thing start? I was getting some work done. He just charged in and tried to attack me. I threw up papers in defense and ran out. He threw me out into the office, and you guys saw what happened from there. So you, you didn't throw a punch back? You didn't make any sort of attempt to I fight? I didn't touch him until I tried pushing him off of me. Oh no, Theo. You have to go through all of Commander Oren's files to make sure none of yours got mixed in with his when you threw him. Oh, shucks. That's God. so crazy. Can you believe that? <laughs> no. That's such what an a unfortunate crazy turn of events. Dance. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah, was, Strom was just let go today. He was on his way out. Like, oh, Jesus. I can't imagine how it. many marks he's got on his jacket. <sighs> yeah, too many. Well, uh, I'll file this, and I'd say your lawyers will be in touch, but I assume you'll be in touch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. But how's the, how are the kids doing? Uh, um... Honestly, she lost the fight. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, it was a few months back, but... I... There's just been so... I'm I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, it's it's all right. I, you, you couldn't have known, and I, I honestly just started back this week. Took some time off. Um, let's get a <sighs> drink soon. I, uh, I kind of gave that up. Oh, let's, she, um... To have coffee? Let's get a falafel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I appreciate you asking. Thanks, but you've got my number. Just give me a call if uh, you just need somebody. Sure, thanks. It means a lot. Um, but you're free to go or hang out in the office, I guess. Um, yeah, I gotta go try to put my paperwork back together I've got court later this week and this just massively throws a wrench in that yeah understandable okay uh, have you guys called Orton yet he's not going to be thrilled about this uh, no he's he ordered us not to reach out he's, he's been at the funeral all day alright um, I'll, I'll talk to him don't stress yourself out having to have that conversation with him I'll take care of it for you Sure, 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 sure. Uh, and Theo goes back into the office and starts uh, organizing, quote unquote. Uh, so, what what do you mean, quote unquote? Like Josh pointed out. Well, tell me specifically what you're attempting to do. Oh, so obviously with like uh, with papers being everywhere, um, I'm assuming light guard like, hey, let me help him. Like, no, can't see can't see any of this and just, I'll roll stealth again to try to like keep looking yeah. through files all in the meantime Please. oh uh, what's my stealth uh, that's only a two this time <laughs> yeah you're you're looking through and you, you find um, just more like run of the mill beat stuff 
Okay. Um, a couple cases you might even recognize that you helped with, and nothing like world ending that you discover. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Uh, but as you're continuing to work, you hear kind of a hubbub outside in the bullpen, um, and you can kind of think, faintly make out, uh, "Sir, uh, we we need to explain something. Um, you were told not to reach you. We didn't want to call you." Theo um, pivots to the other uh, side of the desk. Nice. Um, are the blinds still closed? Uh, I think they'd probably be fucked up at this point. <laughs> yeah, <they're laughs> I think they'd be right. damaged. And the door slowly opens. And Commander Orin kind of steps in and surveys the office. Um, uh, can I roll stealth? Theo wants to, like, take a paper towel and kind of, like, or uh, tissue and, like, take it out of his lip, cleaning up the blood. Rolling stealth? Yeah. Or deceive? Uh, deceive, yeah. Yeah, because you're not trying to hide it. Uh, that's a five. Nice. Okay. But n- realizing I didn't, Theo probably is going to like bite his lip to get blood uh, and then pull out the tissue paper, making it look like he's. Okay. Mr. Maxwell. Ah, uh, Commander. Um, bet you had a better warning than I did. Not really, but may I ask why you didn't simply wait? downstairs. Uh, I had cases I needed to work on and confidential. I figured with uh, you and I communicating in the way we have, you'd be understanding with me needing to keep personnel files away from, you know, light guard that can't be trusted. Yes, I heard you came into contact with Officer Strom, which you just let go today, but I'm sure you can understand that as commander of the Light Guard, I too have confidential information within these walls. Yeah, that's why I'm here, so we can talk about those confidential things. We may... And he he starts, starts to speak, and then he stops, turns, and closes the door. And... Where are Theo you? He gets up and tries to like adjust the blinds <laughs> <laughs> to like clear out any openings. Um, and he takes a seat behind his desk, um, and sees his nameplate slightly cockeyed, and he mm-hmm. adjusts it. We may be working together in sorts, but I do not consider you fully trusted ally yet. This is my sacred space, and you are not to enter at your own whim. Boundary established, and I'll keep that in mind for the future. Now, what did you want to speak about? Uh, There's a laundry list of things that need to be discussed. Uh, First and foremost, um, how many bodies were recovered at the greenhouse shit Uh, um, I'm leading into the fact that I'm establishing a case against gold letting him know that he's going to find more so whatever the number is I'm going to let basically I'm letting him know that he can find more by looking oh okay so yeah, I'm not. I'm not worried about like the actual number of okay. bodies that we collected. Uh, this was just me leading into a handful. <laughs> um, what if I told you we can finally build a case against Kieran, specifically with that greenhouse? He leans forward. I'm listening. Uh, with some simple detection and a little bit of digging, you are going to find a numerous amount of individuals crossed and disposed of by Kieran. Potentially unresolved cases? Probably more than even I'm aware of. And how did you come upon this information? That I can't give you that information. You know how this works. If we are to have CIs, I have CIs. I just know if you do some digging, you're going to find. And instead of being a defendant, 
I will be a prosecutor with you, working together to take him down. And how am I to know that you are not directly involved in this as well? In what world do you have a murderer coming to you saying, hey, go dig up my exact spots where I, you know, disposed of bodies and so I can then prosecute care. myself? Seems rather convenient, don't you think? Yes, it is convenient. I am very, very open about taking Kieran Gold down. So my understanding, you were supposed to be in that same realm. But are you like um, some other officers here and less than eager to say I'm Aurora? eager <laughs> to keep Aurora, the Shining City, in the clouds. And there's nothing that I want more. But clearly, neither of us are doing a great job making it a Shining City. It is rusted, it is dirty, and it is time to be cleansed. I'll have my guys look into it. Um, and I need something from you. Yes? I heard when Haven's apartment uh, was investigated, uh, a tome or a leather-bound book, I guess it'd be very distinct. Um, I actually need that for discovery, and I need it sooner rather than later. Anything that was obtained from Haven's apartment was taken into evidence and is under investigation. Right, but I can't do my job without that. I, I specifically need the book. Even if it's copies, I need it for discovery for court. Well, do you have a court order? Or I'm getting towards that point, but the sooner I can get all of my T's thought or T's crossed and I's dotted, the better. Can I roll charisma? Charisma? Sure. <sighs> That's a six. <laughs> Jesus. I was so fucking scared. <laughs> I don't want to burn this bridge, but charisma I will if I need man. to. That's what we've got the O for. <laughs> Normally, evidence does not leave the locker without a court order from a judge. Or by the light guard commander. We can do much more together than apart. I know I have the reputation of skirting the law. I don't like working above it. It's there for a reason, and I will use it to my whim. But right now, there is one goal that I believe we both share and I need to trust. And Kieran needs taken out. I will go behind your back if I need to, but I would rather work with you. <laughs> I'm not naive to that fact. And he opens his desk drawer, pulls out a slip, signs something on it, Cut. tears off like the carbon copy <laughs> and to you. Thank this you. will allow you 24 hours with that piece of evidence. Fantastic. If that piece of evidence does not get returned within that timeline somebody will come retrieve it I, I don't want you. that to happen either like you said I'd rather work with you than against you but I have to stay within the realms of the law agreed 24 hours and you will have this back I trust you know where the evidence locker is. I do. I gotta go head down there for another case regardless of trying to kill two birds with one stone. Um, have any of uh, my associates been subject to investigation for the greenhouse incident? 
trying to remember who survived. <laughs> Planer, I think, was the only one. Or yeah, Theo is yeah more worried about anybody that he cares about and is associated with. Does he need to know to get a defense ready for them? How is this being written up? I am more curious. That's pushing a little bit past the boundary that I'm willing to give. I'm simply asking if I need to start writing some defenses is all. I'm certain that if you do, somebody will contact you. Thank you, Commander Orton. Uh, was there anything that I could do for you besides ordering you a new plaque and blinds? <sighs> the window I'm not responsible for. <laughs> <sighs> I'm afraid I'm feeling a, a bit frazzled from my morning. I was at the Gold's estate. And, uh, Janessa was in quite the state, mourning her lost son. Do you know what it's like to put a strong face... Put a strong face on for an individual which you would love nothing more than to put into the ground? Uh, Theo thinks about the time he was standing in court looking at the uh, the judge's stand, but the memory is not showing the top of it. Um, and Theo just kind of comes back to it. Uh, more than you know. Yeah, Kieran was doing a very good impression of shock and awe at the loss of his own doings. Uh, speaking of, I am very curious if the paperwork that you receive and I receive on Kieran is similar. Anything pertaining to him, how much of that is redacted? I can't <clears throat> seem to get a document involving him that doesn't give me six words of utter uselessness. I will tell you this. There's a reason we haven't been able to make a formal case against Kieran yet. But it's somewhere above my pay grade. Well, let us uh, mark this day as the day where that case begins to be built. Thank you, Theo. Uh, give your uh, family my regards and... Uh, what officer was I talking to previously? Um, uh, Officer... Dunphy. Uh, make sure Dunphy gets to grief counseling. It should be an order, not a request. Yeah, Dunphy's a proud man. He took some time off. He needs more help. Noted. Uh, I'll be in touch soon, Commander. I have a... Well, you can really only have a better day from what yours has gone with then, so... As long as people stay out of my office... Noted, uh, and Theo leaves. <laughs> <laughs> so you head back downstairs, uh, and going back towards the back offices. Whistles at the front desk, lady. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And you navigate uh, kind of far back towards the back of the building. Um, there's uh, a, a closed door, but then there's a window where someone's just kind of leaning in. This window's joined by like a cage. Like a, a kind of a cage match. The, uh, the evidence officer. Have you ever been to the evidence locker before? For sure. Then yes. Um, roll connections to see how well you get along with them. Or wait, no, roll, roll, roll rapport to see how well you get along with them. 
Which one's report? Is that charisma? Charisma. 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 Yeah. yeah. Uh, not well. That's a. That's a one. That was three minuses, sir. Shit. Hey, you can invoke can't make any everybody happy and get a throw a plus two on it. I've got the paperwork I need to get what I need to <laughs> shit if you don't like me. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. I don't care. I don't want to hear from your silver tongue. I don't want to hear any of this. No, the answer's already no. And he like pulls down <laughs> like Amazing. Amazing. I mean, I can call the commander if you prefer. Oh, you're going to call the commander. Okay, I'll call the commander. Oh, I mean, if you want to, <laughs> have a great mood. I mean, we could just skip this whole interaction. You just give me the evidence I need. If you want to be a dick, yeah, call the commander. I bet he'd love to talk to you. You got a court order. Uh, he slides over Commander Orton's documentation to him. And this slide, the shade comes up. And he's like examining it. He's looking at the signature. <laughs> He's looking at you. I'm offended. Now tell me. I didn't know she why? was your wife. I'm sorry. Boop. Oh. Oh. We got it. So tell me why Commander Orin himself would allow evidence to leave with you. Um, so you know how you work in this cage and he works like two stories above you? It means it says above your pay grade. Give me my damn evidence. There she is. And he, he like has this little Rolodex or like little filing thing on his desk that he puts a slip in, closes it, walks out of view, and you hear some like clanging moments later returns it's this big leather tome with this small evidence tag attached to it plops on the desk you got 24 hours if that's not back and he has a, like a watch and he sets it <laughs> this is I'm coming for it personally uh, Theo grabs it. Uh, yeah, give Lucinda my regards, uh, and he walks away. Hey, fuck you! <laughs> uh, Theo needs to call uh, Truman. Lucinda? Calling Truman? Yeah. <laughs> it rings. Yes, hello, this Truman! <laughs> hey, Tru, uh, I need a, uh, a job done sub 24 hours. Why, why, why is always rushed with you? Uh, you know, I just love the work you're capable of doing in crunch time. I think it's just leagues above. You know, I am artist. Truman is artist. Art takes time, Theo. I recognize you, you that. You don't but... get art when you rush it. But yet somehow you still do, Truman. And that's why you're my guy. And that's why I pay you what I do. Rush is extra. Oh, that's fine, Truman. What's the job? Uh, I got. I need this book. Uh, duplicated, identical. Truman's garments does not copy books. Uh, I am not a an, scribe. I understand that, but it's an old leather tome, and it's right up your alley. Trust me. Are the pages made of fabric, leather? Skin. Listen, you and your associates are more than capable of doing this. We have other orders. We don't have time to scribble. And again, that's why book. I pay for rush orders. This is this is not roll um <laughs> charisma. Because you were asking him to do something that's really not in his uh <laughs> bag. It's a five. My goal there is to, like, I'll even spend a lore point here to, like, create, like, an industry that Truman exists in that are just these artisans that are leagues above that Theo uses for. Wait, hold on. What if spend a fate point 
And the reason you know Truman in the first place is because he used to be in the forging circle. There it is. And, he went, and you helped him go straight and launch his fashion business. There it oh, is. Okay. I feel like the Knights of Axiom could reproduce the book. Or at least, like, scan the pages or something. But I like this Truman thing. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted Truman to yeah. be honest. I really didn't give it much thought outside of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bring Shroom onto the Knights of Axiom layer, too. <laughs> hey, guys, I know that I said... Okay, I know <laughs> I said it was the last one, but this guy, you gotta meet him. You gotta <laughs> meet him. He's like three foot tall, right? Theo, you helped pull me out of that dark place. Why do you want to put me back there? Um... One, I got to make sure your talents are being utilized to their utmost degree. And listen, I understand fashion is your strong suit, but we got to keep all knives sharpened. Like a good pair of cutting shears. It, you get it. I'll be there within the hour. You better. This is going to take all night. I will help in any way I can, Trim. You want dinner from that spot? And a big fat check. Well, obviously, Truman. Uh, I will have uh, some associates with me, though. Do they know the code? Um, well, one of them is the gentleman you just made that mask for, so... Does he have the mask with him? I would assume so. Uh, the other, I do it. need to wrap. <laughs> no, I'm, I've got the mask on over my nose, and then I've got my trench coat off and wrapped around my face. And I'm just like, it's just, <laughs> just blowing in the wind as, as the night begins to fall. And it's looking immaculate up there. There's like a pile of like loose debris and two by fours and everything, and I'm, I'm almost finished. Tell him to bring it. You rushed me last time, and I could not finish. Uh, I do need to forewarn you. Um, the other one I'm bringing is Sir Kinsaroko. Dead air. <laughs> <laughs> Dial tone. <laughs> what did you say? Yes, uh, I'm working with Sir Kinsaroko. You are working with the Gold family now? No, no. Specifically the exact opposite of that. Sirkin Sirocco is an enforcer of the Gold family. Uh, fun fact, uh, not anymore. Did you hear about the, uh, the... You know what, I'll fill you in when we get there. One hour. Extra Rangoon. Toodles. And Theo hangs up the phones. Uh, Theo calls Sirkin. Or no, I, he's going outside, so he just Go goes meet. meet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I forgot that's where he was. Wayland, yeah. I would have to call, but... Uh, yeah, Theo just meets Sirkin outside. And we wave Wayland down, since he'd be able to see us from where he is, to give him the all clear. Uh, I'm <laughs> we look up and just a dust cloud <laughs> tormented on top of a yeah. building. <laughs> I'm going to force myself to roll perception. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, if I can, I'm gonna compel myself. No one said it was easy, or no, in fact, I'm gonna compel myself the closer that there's a chance that I won't finish until I won't leave until I finish. <laughs> if you'll allow it, I'll allow it. Okay. Oh, God. All right, so all oh, that roof. It's gonna be so pretty. Oh, no, really? You're you're rolling against not perception. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I've rolled um, for the fourth time, perfectly neutral. Two neutrals, a negative, and a positive. And my perception is canonically high. Uh, that's a two. So two plus a two. Oh wait, no. You you. Um... It'd be minus two, wouldn't it? Sorry, not plus two because you compelled it. You didn't invoke yeah. it. Um, so yeah so you are just, you have to finish this task at hand 
you've got just one little corner that there's been like a dead bird <laughs> stuck Jesus to it. Christ. It's and decayed into the roof tile. The exactly. tarmac. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah. So I'm I'm getting I'm getting that all cleaned up, and uh, as soon as I as soon as I get that sorted away, I dust my hands off and I look at the huge pile of debris, and I'm like, how do I get that down? <laughs> <laughs> throws it on top of somebody's car it's a convertible I make, I, make, I make a mental note of this address I'm like gonna need a large garbage bag a dumpster I wonder if, if Theo calls in a dumpster I could just toss it <laughs> I don't I'm just like muttering to myself and like just like thinking about how like this perfectly clean roof isn't perfectly clean yet and then your phone rings. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> we've, been, we've been hollering up at you for five minutes. My, maybe my breath is actually short. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, were you fighting security up there? Uh, I, we saw a bunch of dust get kicked up. With you. We assumed you were fighting for your life. Uh, I look back over my shoulder. The uh, tarmac uh, like gleams in the moonlight. <laughs> in the setting sun. <laughs> Uh, golden hour. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, no, I was, I, uh, uh, yeah, no, there was, yeah, they, they found me up here, but, uh, I took care of it. Good. Meet us down here. We have places to go. <laughs> All right, I'll be right down. Hey. <laughs> I also call Vox to let him know he can take the cart back home, and uh, I'll, that, I'll let him know where he can meet us at the nearest night's entrance to True Moms. Mm, okay. Uh, so you guys are... We'll just do a swipe of that. You you stop by... Um, or actually, I want that interaction for next time. Perfect. So you guys are headed off towards True Mom. The rest of the gang is down in the tunnels of the Knights of Axiom. Theo's reading the book as they go because he wants to know why the fuck this thing's important. Mm. Uh, roll investigation. I got one fate point left if this goes poorly. I'm <laughs> damn information. Burn it before the end of the app. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. That's a four. Four? All right. So as you're walking down the street and... Um, reading this book you're picking up some things about a meteor and y'all getting high off alien dust is that what's happening right now <laughs> and an experimentation fucking alien cocaine wrong. out here fucking up aurora and some mention of a, a lottery. I can't wait to find out what this motherfucker actually planned for right. all these tomes that we just blatantly ignored. <laughs> it's fun. And that is where we're going to end today's episode. Woo, good app. Hot app, guys. Some boys oh, Night. Boys Night did done good. I put our joke in Discord for Brit to be mad at us. I saw. Did you show it? We solved it. No, I just put it in session notes. I want her to see it. I don't want to bring it up. Nice. <laughs> Until she listens to this episode and then goes back into Discord and calls us an asshole. <laughs> she said, we beat him. It's over. That's perfect. <laughs> Outstanding. But y'all, good job. Um, some... You know what did it for me? Looser? Minstrel's dice tray. That's what you get all your good dice rolls from. Ooh, and where can you pick up your own minstrel dice tray? Uh, Minstrel.com backslash four geeks by geeks. Did you make that up? I don't know. I don't know. (laughs) I don't know what our code is. Your marketing (laughs) is so on. (laughs) (laughs) It's just. It's so <laughs> mad for the walk. I know it's minstrel.com. I just don't know a website. I just I I even know that you have an affiliate link. I, I like I'm just assuming the link has four keys by keys in it. You can find the link below. 
in the details. <laughs> Give it a click. Um, you can get some really great, well-crafted. Nope. No, that doesn't, that doesn't uh, exist. Dice trays, my favorite thing is, <laughs> my favorite thing is these are, are so portable, they lay flat. And so they ship really easy. And then you can just slide that in your bag. No more trying to bring some big, heavy dice tray. Um, they come in different sizes, different leather colors. Uh, but they also make big dice bags and a lot of other great dice. Towers, boxes, it's all handcrafted and locally sourced in Poland where the artisan lives. So go get yourself some great minstrel gear and a portion of that. Not at the website I sent. <laughs> up some Russian channel. This makes a URL so. <laughs> I, I want to go to that link now just to see we what happens. We have command minstrel in chat, though, so you can just click that and use our affiliate link. If you're watching on Twitch, use command minstrel. If you're listening back or watching back on YouTube, then Find the command's below. Just click it. <laughs> just click it. <laughs> but until next time, I'm Bozer. I'm Josh. I'm Austin. I'm T. And you just keep geeking, geeking out. out. Bye. Bye. Bye, buddy.